Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings. Black Ark Knight here. Today we follow Chile de Castro around as he tries to school an officer on the laws, but fails miserably. Let's sit down and watch. Enjoy the show. Damn, Chili, what's with the background music? You trying to, try to turn this into a stalker movie? Just hiding in the dark, huh? Oh no, don't do it, Chili! That, this never ends well in the horror movies! Because if you're coming down the road right here, you can't really see him because he's hiding behind this building right here. But the ironic part is that you can see him just barely if you look if so if you're driving down this road right here then this guy's hiding right here behind this building Whew! glad you're all right chili glad this wasn't a real horror movie or you'd be dead already and this is this is this is uh, officer what, what are you guys what are you guys doing how are you guys doing tonight okay uh i have a channel called delete laws i i film cops and i ask them questions i'm i'm just curious you know wh what are you doing running traffic Running traffic, but you're you're hiding. You're no, hiding. Can't sit on the roadway. <laughs> That's an awfully long pause we have right there, Chili. I think this officer just stunned you and your years of YouTube law experience with his sound, logical reasoning. Maybe you're not aware how horrible the relations are between citizens and police. Mm -hmm. No right? idea. This is a huge reason. This is, this is, a, I mean, because people are coming down this road here, and then he's hiding behind a building. And you can, the black, the white, it's just, I mean, you don't see a fundamental problem with what you're doing as a human being right now? You know, since you asked this cop to do a little bit of introspective, I suggest you take a look in a mirror and ask yourself this question. Is my life really this way? Do I have to stand around and tell the cops that they're complete morons? Or am I the complete moron for walking up to a cop and telling him how to do his job when you know nothing about their job? You don't no. see a fundamental problem? No, I don't. You think it's okay to sit here and hide and then give people tickets? Oh, I'm not hiding. You can see me. Can see me well i look out for for cops but but do you think that this is a, you think what you're doing right now is a worthwhile good endeavor for a man a human male and and as you know they're hunters and gatherers so you're a hunter where is your mind at chili are you hanging around in the uh, neolithic period pre-agrarian society of hunter gatherers you should join us in the 21st century dude you you think that this is the appropriate thing for you to do with your life to sit here like this and hide and try to collect revenue for the city or the state or the county no i you, think what i'm doing is perfectly great you think what you're doing is perfectly great yeah. You epitomize the reason why we have such bad relationship with police. Because no, I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is when officers overstep their boundaries. But I think what I'm doing is great, considering we just almost had a fatal accident right here. So you're here to save week. people's lives? Yeah, actually, I did just save someone's life in that intersection last week. You did? So. Well, we'll tell your story, man. I mean, you got the mic. What I happened? Did. You saved someone's life? I did. What was the story? Auto versus pedestrian. Car speeding down the road, hit a pedestrian, had to do CPR in the middle of the road. You did that last week? I did, last Wednesday. Well, thank you, thank you for doing so. that for another human being. Uh-oh, Chili. This is going against your narrative that all cops are malevolent assholes. You need to back away and find somebody else to harass. By sitting here, I can observe vehicle speeding. Vehicles potentially running that red light. So... Yeah, I feel sitting here is doing a good job for the citizens. I don't know. I don't know. I think what would do a better job, just, just you know, to play devil's advocate here, if you pulled out two feet and just turned on your cherries, and then people would realize that, you know what, you could hit someone in the road here, and then a man may have to give another man CPR in the streets 
yeah, if you just if alerted forward, people. I'm blocking the sidewalk. You could turn your cherries on right there where you are, or just your emergency lights to flash back and forth, and everybody would be able to see there was a cop sitting here. You know what they would do then? They would slow down their driving so you wouldn't have to hit somebody in the street over here and you wouldn't have to give CPR. Okay, well, I actually have to go make a traffic stop, so I appreciate what you're doing, sir. Okay. You have a safe night, okay? You too. Well, what he doesn't understand is that he's got to make a traffic stop and I have an audit to do. A little longer than a few minutes later. You good? How come he said he pulled you over? Speeding? No, I made a mistake. I turned right where I shouldn't have turned. Oh, so you made a funny turn or something? I just turned right. I probably shouldn't have done it. You turned right? Yeah. Oh, so it was in, uh, a moving infraction or something? Just the turn, I think. Just the turn itself? I just saw you driving and I didn't know. Yeah, you're fine. Well, you're... So, I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate, you know. You always just want to make sure you always film cops. Always, 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 because you just never know what you're going to get, you know? Yeah, you never know what kind of person to get. You might get a jackass like Chili here trying to sell you a trifold pamphlet. Speaking of which, why aren't you trying to sell this guy the trifold pamphlet? You're you're being a very bad salesman if you're not jumping on this opportunity to peddle your wares. And so it's like, you know, there's you know you, know, you want you want to think that there's some good. See, like it's like this this stuff right here, right? Is this business open? So like, it's like stuff like this, like it's crappy things like this that just make people super, super mad. And I just don't understand it. Because is this, it's like stuff like that. It just drives, it drives, it, it, you know, it drives citizens crazy. You know, it's, it's, you know, like I was telling this band, like parking your car like this, you don't need to park like that. There's no emergency. You could have parked just like a normal human being, but you parking like this makes you the center and you, you shouldn't be. Stand back. A narcissistic jackass has told you that you're not the center of attention in his world. You need to stand back, officer. Stand back. You should have as little intrusion into the public as possible. But instead of that, what you've done is you've parked your car in the middle of the roadway in front of a business, and it's all about you and what you're doing. There's plenty of parking spaces right down there. Why don't you just pull over there? Hey, officer, I want to ask you one more question real quick before you go. So, so when do we, when do we bridge the gap here? I need to move so he can, let me try it over there. Sure, I'll talk to you. I'm, ch I'm chilly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joey. Nice to meet you. So you know, I'm I'm against police. I'm I'm, I'm against the I'm against cops. Okay. I think that cops are the problem in our culture. Yeah, Chili, we understand that you're a narcissistic sociopath who doesn't believe in laws, only anarchy. The the, the problem in our society, and 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 so what I've been trying to do lately, trying to have some common ground with you guys. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it's me just saying f you, I hate you. It's not doing any good. Correct. We've been saying that for 20 years. Nothing's changing. <laughs> do you know? Yeah. So like, when do we bridge the gap and, and you guys start to realize that just hiding and pulling us over or giving DUIs or setting up checkpoints and stuff like that, you're not creating a society where we want to work together. We're against oh. you now. Who's this we stuff you're always talking about? I mean, after all, not everybody has your delusional mindset. Answer me this. By setting up checkpoints, how is that harming? That's Nazi. Because in America, you're supposed to be able to travel down the road without having to turn your papers over to your government or have your chemicals checked. It's a Nazi thing.
using that word? I don't think it means what you think it means. Too bad there are so few people left around who actually lived in Nazi Germany. You would do well to benefit from their knowledge and listen to their stories of what it was like to live in Nazi Germany, you dumbass. So you would rather have someone drive down the road that's intoxicated yes. to potentially kill you or your Yes, family. I would rather have dangerous freedom than a police state. My interpretation of what you're saying is that you would much rather have a thousand people die a day in avoidable traffic accidents due to drunk driving than have a single law on the books to prevent that from ever happening. Is that what I am hearing? In order for a society to function, there has to be reasonable laws on the books or it will be total anarchy and people would be killed all the time over nothing. And it seems like that's what you want to do. If that's the case, sir, then you are more than a moron. You are a monster. And so the idea that you even, you swore to uphold the oath to the Constitution. Which would be someone's in violation of the law by driving over a legal limit while intoxicated. But that's not the Constitution. The Constitution is that we have the right to travel freely in the United States. That you and I can travel freely without having to stop and be checked by government agencies. Check the Tenth Amendment, you moron. It gives states the right to make laws that are not covered within the Constitution. Okay, but that, if you're breaking the law. But I'm not breaking the law. And Nazi right. checked. That's why I'm talking to you. Right. You're I'm, not breaking the yeah, law. Yeah, I'm not breaking And I'm treating you good. I'm, I don't agree with what you do. I don't agree with your occupation. I don't agree with police at all. I, I, I've openly said I'm versus you. So just like this guy that just ran the red light. But did he hurt anybody? Potentially, that car was about to pull him out. But he didn't hurt anybody. No, he did not hurt anybody this time, but next time he could have. And if you would stop interfering with the cops and let them do their jobs, maybe the next time he'll look before he runs the red light. I don't know if you... I don't know that time. Right. But this idea of law enforcement, you didn't sign a law enforcement agreement. You signed a peace officer. So what do you do for a job? Th this is it. I'm going to change well, this country. I'm going to change this. Oh, so you say you don't respect my career. I okay, don't so respect what you do. No, what, what I'm, I'm going to do is end. Talk to you. Yeah, yeah, in a yeah, civil matter, right? Yeah, I, I haven't. I haven't called you any names. I haven't. Right. Been, and I haven't I, called you. I, any I haven't names. yelled or cursed. Like, but what I'm saying to you is, is you're not a law enforcer. You're a rights protector. You're a peace officer. Okay. Oh boy, Chile, you're really batting a thousand for your stupid comments today, aren't you? This man's job is to enforce the laws that you don't believe in. You are a peace officer. You did sign a peace officer's agreement. Correct. That's your certificate, right? So right. law enforcement comes from the war on drugs and the war on prohibition. And we're still living through this prohibition war. And you think it's okay to set up Nazi checkpoints. Do you think it's okay? You think checkpoints are okay? Do checkpoints. You don't I, do checkpoints. Do I think checkpoints are okay? Yes. How, you, you swore to uphold the constitution though, man. I'm also a, swore to uphold the law. Right, but checkpoints are against the law. The Constitution is the premier law hey, of the can land. Can you show me where it's against the law? Absolutely. We have the right to travel freely in the United States of America. There are dozens of Supreme Court cases right, that say good. that. Well, I, I appreciate your time tonight. I just, Unfortunately, I, listen, I do have a job that you, I have you, to be doing. You, it, I, it, I decided you, to take a couple minutes to at least... But you like this you know, job. You think, that, you think it's going good? I love it. Do you think that the interaction between citizens and police is going positive? I do. Especially with how I police. With my department, I would say... Our interaction with the with community is great. How do you say Mountain view. Mountain view. Listen, I, I, I hope... Here, let me explain why I feel that. Sure. What other agency do you know in the state that actually every month has a community relation event? When is it? This week, we're actually doing it Saturday. We're doing a back-to-school drive. Where? Just a couple weeks. Right down here at town of Mountain View. T the, the, the town of Mountain View, 4176 what? Benton. Benton? Yep. So we do a back-to-school drive. We've done free car washes for fathers on Father's Day. We've gave away bikes to uh, kids in the community. Let's see, we've held National Night Out to bring the community together, come talk to us, interact with us, see what else we can be doing to help build that bond. Um, you know, we've done tons of activities. We okay. do one every month. So right. by all means, you can look it up on our website, Town of Mountain View. We're doing a back-to-school drive, free car washes for fathers on Father's Day. This officer is pointing at all the good things that the cops do for his community, and yet you have to focus in on the ticket portion of the website.
That's just a scumbag move right there, dude. We've gave away bikes to kids in the community. Town of Mountain View this Saturday. What time is that at? I believe it's from 11 to 3 p.m. Do you arrest people sometimes? No, actually we don't. You don't arrest people? Not at these events, no. No, but do you arrest people in of general? Yep. So do you know where you take them though? Yep, Jefferson County Courthouse or Jefferson County Jail. And if you've never been through that, then you don't understand what it's like. I, I, I hear your point of view. I don't put myself in that situation. I, I didn't either the first time I went to the dungeon. You told me the good things you do, but what you don't understand is if you haven't been through that dungeon system, it only you only have to go once and you end up being a guy like me with a guy with a camera filming cops all the time because it's so, so horrendous. Just so you're aware, I'm one of nine. You're one of nine? Yeah. So I've had three. I've had a sister in prison for child abuse. I've had a sister in prison for drugs, and I've had a brother in jail for drugs. So I do understand. So you've been there? You went down and visited him in jail? Yeah, I have. It's horrendous. Yeah. It's horrendous. And you know what? It you... doesn't impact how I do my job. It actually makes me do my job better because I've had relatives in that situation. So you don't want to take people to jail? If I don't have to, I don't. Yeah. Because I don't want to ever go to jail. I've never but belonged going to a jail. I feel if it's someone does something that is interfering with the safety of myself or a third party and I feel they need to be held in a jail, yeah. Right, those are for violent out. people. But your sister going to jail for drugs, probably a bad place to put her. She has a drug problem. She needs help. She yeah, needs and it got her the help, actually. The jail did? Yeah. You because think... we also have resources that we can allot to them. But we have like a 90% recidivation rate, people who go back to jail. Well, that's, that's on their own person. There are a lot of reasons why people go back to jail. Some people may like that kind of lifestyle, or others may have borderline personality disorder, which means they can't fit into society like other people can if it's not treated properly. And then you wear a blue you wear a blue stripe on your badge. Which, yeah, do you even know what that means? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be for fallen officers that you're you're, you're to be. commemorating. So why would I have this on? Well, but what it does for the public, like just answer me that. Why do I have this on? You're supposed to you, uh, supposedly you're you are commemorating. I just had a deputy that was shot and shot killed. and killed. Right. Thank you. Have right. A but what we see it as is we see it as a a gang symbol. No, that was just a way for you to trigger the officer so it would go away because you were actually losing that whole argument. Good job, officer. That's just how we see it. You don't have to walk away angry. I'm, I, I didn't mean, I wasn't mean to you. I'm just talking to you, man. See you, Captain. So I'm supposed to feel horrifically bad for the deputy that was just killed. I'm supposed to feel bad for him and the mourning that he's going through when we have to watch daily the cops kill three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people a day in the United States of America. I'm supposed to be choked up about him losing a loved one, some a deputy that he worked with, but yet he so easily dismisses that if you take someone to the dungeon, that you're ruining them. And he literally thought that his sister being arrested and taken to a dungeon helped her out. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Nope, here's what he actually said, you moron. She needs help. She needs yeah, and it got her the help, actually. The jail did? Yeah. You because think we also have resources that we can allot to them. They may not always work, but jails do provide drug rehabilitation programs that you can go to. Imagine if she didn't have to go to the dungeon and she'd been treated with love, respect, and compassion to overcome that drug problem. So once again, you can see it's about him and his feelings and they just lost a deputy and he's gonna puff and puff his way out. An emotional response to a logical conversation. He doesn't understand how we actually see them. Those cops right there, the way the people on this road see those cops, is they're the fear. Those guys are the fear, they're the terror, they're the darkness. They have to avoid those cops so they don't get drug off to a dungeon. Now that cop, he may have claimed to be a good cop, but he said he loves this job. He loves what he does. In other words, you getting taken off to a dungeon, he loves that. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. 
Here you go, twisting the officer's words to fit your own narrative. Not once did he ever say that he liked putting people in jail. He said he loved his job, and with any job, there are parts you like and parts you don't like. But he never mentioned what his feelings were on putting people in jail. You did that. Him putting cuffs on you, he loves that. Him pulling behind you in his car and you being afraid instantaneously, he loves it. It's his favorite. Oh, the combination of the background music and his please make that cop sound real bad. Worse than he actually is. You scumbag. And then if you talk about, well, we see that as a gang symbol. Well, we just lost a deputy and now I'm going to storm out of here. What about us? I don't think it's us that's the issue. I think it's you that's the issue. It's all about you and only you. What, what about the American populace? You drive around in that bumblebee car, you pull behind us, and you love it? You love pulling behind us? You love hiding out? He loves it? Okay. I guess that puts everything into perspective, doesn't it? I guess everything's put perfectly into perspective. He's gonna storm away because one of his deputies was killed, but yet they're gonna kill a half a dozen people today during detainment. What a baby. F failure. We don't stop. Oh yeah, there is a failure around here, and it's you. You fail to understand the law, so therefore you believe in anarchy. You fail to believe in logic, which further es uh, escalates your anarchist beliefs. You fail at uh, being a YouTube law expert. You fail at understanding the U.S. Constitution. You fail at everything you do. So why don't you just give up and move along and get a real job like your brother Bob? Well, that wraps it up here, folks. As we can see, Chile de Castro is a total anarchist and a complete moron. And if he had his way, this country would actually be falling apart. So until next time, have a good day, good night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe, and I thank you very much for watching.